All right, this is gonna be a quick assembly guide for Claw Hammer Supplies, 10 and a half gallon stainless steel brewing system, version 2.0. So we will start uh, with the kettle here. On the kettle itself, there are um, a few ports on the bottom. The port on the front here, it's an inch and a half tri-clamp fitting. You um, actually won't need to do anything with that, but that's where the heating element goes. I'll get back to the heat heating element itself in a second. Um, on the other side of the kettle, on the bottom, you will note two half inch NPT ports. Okay, so in the one that's directly across from the heating element, um, you will install one of the male NPT to female NPT mini ball valves. So wrap that in some Teflon, screw it in, and then into that you will install one of the male NPT to male quick disconnects. Then um, the port beside that is another half inch NPT. In this port you will install the thermo well. We uh, choose to use high temp chemical resistant um, thread tape with our kits. This is available on our website. We recommend using this. Let's move on to the lid here. To assemble the fittings in the lid, you'll need a spray valve, a washer, a metal washer, a silicone washer, and then a female NPT to male quick disconnect. So uh, we suggest putting the washer and the silicone washer on the bottom. You'll stick the spray valve up through the lid. Um, you'll wrap that, you'll want to wrap that in Teflon tape, and then you simply screw the female NPT to male quick disconnect down onto that. And that's the lid. One more um, kettle item here uh, is the bazooka screen. It's just like a cigar shaped uh, screen. This, this gets screwed in on the inside. You don't need any Teflon tape on this. Um, this is this is just a backup. Essentially, if something were to overflow from the basket here or the hot basket while you're hopping, this um, generally will catch all the debris before it gets uh, sucked into the pump. All right, moving on to the plate chiller. Um, to female NPT to male quick disconnects get screwed onto the smaller of the four ports on the chiller. Um, again, you're going to want Teflon tape on these. Assuming, by the way, that you got the chiller, um, we sell a turnkey kit on our site that includes most of what I'll be talking about here. But you can also buy um, our kit piecemeal. You can buy it a la carte. So perhaps you have a um, immersion chiller that you're using and you didn't elect to get one of our plate chillers and of course, this, that's not applicable to you. All right, um, moving on to the pump. You'll install a female NPT to male quick disconnect on the end of the pump and on the port that faces uh, perpendicular to the body of the pump. You'll install a mini ball valve. And then on the end of that, you'll install a female NPT to male quick disconnect fitting. Teflon tape on all of these as well. And then finally, um, this is uh, the T thermometer, which gets fitted onto the wart chiller. This is a purely optional add-on. It just allows you to measure the temperature of the wart as it's exiting the chiller versus um, running it back into the kettle and measuring it here. This will essentially allow you to cool down and transfer your wort a little bit faster. Um, this should come pre-assembled. If it does not, here is the configuration for this. Of course, you have the thermometer here, and we'll just say in the middle, and then across from it, you have a half-inch NPT plug. On the, one of the sides, you have male NPT to male quick disconnect, and on the other side, you have male NPT to female quick disconnect. All right, now finally, the hoses. As far as the hoses go, here's the deal. We supply 13 feet of hose with the kits and we supply five female quick disconnect fittings. Um, here's how we recommend you set this up. If you're brewing on a table, just your average size kitchen countertop or table or whatever, as we are here, we recommend that you cut 
the 13 foot hose into three lengths one six foot hose one four foot hose uh, and both of those lengths will have quick uh, disconnects on both ends and then we recommend that with the remaining three foot hose you install a fitting on one end um, you won't need a fitting on this end. This will never need to be plugged into anything. If you're brewing, say, on the ground or you have a table that's a different height or a cart or something that you're using, then just cut the hose to length uh, and install the fittings as you see best fit. Okay, um, one more note as far as the heating element goes. The detailed instructions on um, assembling the heating element are in a different video and I will post a link to that in the notes to this video. Thanks for watching. Check out the rest of our videos on our YouTube channel and check out our brewing equipment, etc., on our website, clawhammersupply.com. Thanks a lot. See ya.